Hello and welcome back to the shop. Today it's going to be a little bit different from my normal routine because today it's going to be a little bit of a mini review as well as an introduction to uh, another machine in the shop. And it's one of these. And no, this was not a sponsored machine. I bought this with my own money. And uh, this is a Monoprice Mini Delta printer. And these things actually have pretty mixed reviews, but uh, being that I built my own Delta in the past, I figured for the money it was actually, let me treat this as a good kit. Uh, I have to say, I'm fairly pleased on almost all counts of this machine. There's a few shortcomings and I will discuss this in this video. Uh, one of the shortcomings is the actual build plate. I should say the applique on the build plate. It's not, yeah, it's not the highest quality uh, material that they use as a build plate and it does rip. And uh, it is a pain in the butt to remove. That is pretty gummy. And uh, once you remove it, you have an aluminum built plate. At this point you have a couple of options. You can go with the painter's tape, blue painter's tape. And yes, this machine is advertised as doing ABS as well. I have not tested ABS on this machine. It's an open machine so I don't have my hopes up as far as ABS is concerned. Um, however, I have to say that I have a good few hours on this machine with PLA. Well, PLA Plus. And uh, it, it's actually been a very reasonable machine. So, without further ado, I have to admit that these plates are not exactly the most, um, when I say this, the most um, flat plates around. There's definitely, if I run a scale through it, there's definitely some rock there. And being that this is a delta, that's no good. And there's some bowing there and uh, but one of the things that this machine actually does have is auto leveling it's got three buttons on each side the bed is removable like so and it is a heated bed and there's the little buttons for auto leveling um, in either case this machine, once you remove the stuff, you really need to clean up the build platform. I used acetone to clean it. There's some scratches here because I ran a razor blade to scrape off some of the crap. And there's, there's still some residue, so I'm going to give it another wipe up with acetone. And what I've done is I've actually bought a sheet of, uh, well, I guess, build tack and uh, it was for a larger printer and I cut it in circles so I used the original as a template and it should pretty much pretty well fill in, fit in there and uh, it, it is a decent build surface I've tested it out and you know I don't want to make the original surface sound like it's a terrible surface it's actually a decent surface the problem with it is it doesn't last very long after about a kilo kilo and a half of plastic it's done what I want to talk about is the auto leveling code that this printer provides and what the code basically does is it goes and does one of these basically it's a three point leveling system and it tries to do that. The problem is there's always some sort of bow. This is aluminum after all and there's a heated bit on there so it it's not exactly the most stable thing in the world. So what I did was I actually turned on a 6x6 grid. So it actually does um, it, it levels off on multiple points before each print. And that, that's actually a very sweet deal because that actually makes this printer all of a sudden and makes it a very repeatable machine.
that's how you get a proper first layer you let the machine auto level itself every time and uh, once it does so it actually it will be more consistent than a normal everyday kind of just set it and forget it kind of deal right I still watch it for the first layer which is why I have made these and uh, I enjoyed this printer so much I actually bought its twin they're not the quietest machines around these machines have a few things that I will discuss as well that are kind of missing and I'll tell you about them so as you can tell this is basically an informal review of this these machines and uh, the main thing is it's actually a decent machine for the money it really is a very nice machine for the money there's a few things that could have been better should have been better that are not um, it only comes with a 5 amp 12 volt power supply so that's 60 watts uh, it's a little underpowered for this machine uh, they do sell a 10 amp power supply and eventually I'm probably gonna end up going that route or maybe I'll just go with a unified power supply that will power both machines up at 12 volts and call it a day uh, the other thing is there's no actual power button on these machines at all so you have to unplug the damn thing not exactly a big fan of it the LCD firmware and the board firmware two separate things this thing uses a closed source firmware although they have um, reverse engineered it there's secondary firmwares you can run so on and so forth not exactly my cup of tea I actually wanted to make sure that this thing runs the way it is micro SD slot mini USB and button that button actually has a few functions it will print the default things if you hold it down for I believe five seconds it will print the default uh, file on the micro SD card that comes with this the micro SD card that comes with it is very susceptible to corruption so knowing that I just replaced it with the uh, cheapy card that I had hanging around this is a 16 gig card uh, it's actually a rebranded Kingston and it's been fine your mileage may vary um, the other thing uh, this is also the same button that you can connect this to Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi interface on this is basically you can either stop the printer upload G code so on and so forth I use the actual Android app uh, to do this and this is what it looks like uh, your SSID you gotta input your uh, password and you click on connect to Wi-Fi you gotta hold this for I believe four seconds until it starts the flash and uh, it automatically connects to your phone and you can get it on the network uh, the printer when printing will show the IP address on top on the LCD uh, the spool holder nothing to write home about piece of sheet metal that's probably need, needs an upgrade uh, the actual um, belt guards over here there should be something that covers these up that's that's an upgrade that I'm planning on making uh, for these and just cover them up the other thing that I do as well is daily I run these machines sometimes I run them three days in a row three days straight in the case of poor Einstein here it was 24 hours or so to run this uh, so consider that once every 24 hours I use 3-in-1 oil while it's printing I put a little bit on the rods each one of them let it wick down mix its way into the bearings again people have different opinions on this this is what I've done to my uh, 2000 plus hour Delta that coincidentally I'm rebuilding uh, to go along with these machines so and it's worked out for me uh, another thing that I recommend is um, when you're feeding the filament it's actually a pain in the butt to feed filament on this printer for some reason 
there's uh, I guess there's gaps in between the hot end and the, the well the the fitting here and uh, the heat break and there's obviously a gap up here where the um, extruder motor is uh, I should say the ex actual extruder and uh, when you cut the filament use one of these cut it at an angle so it actually makes a point it's easier to feed it in through the Bowden tube other than that they're not the quietest machines around. I think a set of proper rubber feet would have been a great thing. It has a very noisy fan in the bottom. Um, that just is annoying as all hell. And uh, these machines should be raised up about half an inch to an inch just to get some air underneath and let the electronics cool. But other than that, they have these, both of these machines probably have between 50 and 100 hours each and they've they've been um, they've been very good they have been very good I haven't tried printing ABS through them but each machine's got about two kilos of PLA or more that it went through so okay folks that's the end of it the links are in the description like, share, and subscribe if you like it. If you don't, tell me why you don't like it. Give me a thumbs down. Give me a thumbs up. Whatever you'd like. Just interact. Alrighty. Bye. Large delta, small delta. basically almost fit inside if it weren't for the magnets over here it'll fit inside and this is the new head for the large delta it's uh, some recycled parts some new parts and uh, the new exciting thing is auto leveling